this so what you're seeing here this is the family the the workman um, family they traveled here from New Mexico and New Mexico in this time period of early 1800s roughly he arrived William Workman arrived in 1841 there was a lot of political turmoil mm -hmm. in New Mexico that's Mexico mm -hmm. this is Mexico at it the was time part of a California yeah like where La Pony High School is that was a Native American the Awagna Indians nice. which is a Gabrielino their water was the uh, San Jose Creek, mm -hmm. which is it's now a flood control channel right over. You can see it. You go over it on Hacienda. Yeah, awesome. They traveled with the Roland family and a whole lot of other families. But if you've heard Roland Heights and mm -hmm. uh, Roland, I mean, it's, that name's everywhere, just like Workman is. John Roland, uh, William Workman came with his family and said, this is a good spot for my home. John Roland continued up to the Presidio which was the government of Alta, California, the Mexican government. Wow. And it was in Monterey. And he actually owned uh, uh, quite a number of acres first. And then a period later, William Workman, uh, they were partners. They were lifelong friends. Oh, we have their cool. cem the cemetery straight down, and they are buried in the cemetery. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's oh, one wow. of the oldest cemeteries in, in the 1800s, huh? In this area. We have the last Me Mexican it's governor so there, Pio Pico. No way, he's yeah. right. Wow. He's there and his wife. And, and a lot of well-known people, especially from like Yorba Linda, the Yorbas, from Yorba's family. Mm -hmm. um, oh, they're out here too? Yeah, because oh. they all married each other and, you know. Wow. It wasn't a whole lot of people here. To no, begin. that's true. It's We're very close. hundreds, not millions. Of yeah. People. <laughs> so this is the original Ready? home. It's been here since uh, they, they came November 5th, 1841. Mm -hmm. William Workman is actually from England. And he already had a younger brother that had come to America before him in the uh, early 1800s. And so he came back and got his younger brother, William, and they ended up, they worked in St. Louis, which was the end of the United States. Wow. Out Missouri. And they were in the saddlery business because there wasn't a whole lot to do in America but leather, goods, cattle. Yeah, um, all the, yeah. Cattle was king. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what they did here, too. And wine. Now we're covering, we're going under Beautiful. Grapevine. So these vines are. I mean, look at the vines. They're from 1860. No way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I you want to feel? All You're super strong. And all that, but that primarily this supports all that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wow. This plant has lived a long time. Yeah. This. Got a little bird visitor here. How cute. We got lots of rabbits and squirrels. Okay, let me see if you can see it here, but still be in the shade. Um, this is wow. the home of William Workman. It used to be what was considered a three room adobe home. Mm -hmm. But as he made money, he built on oh, yeah. and made it two stories. And it has a basement which is not usual for California. We're owned and funded by the City of Industry. Wonderful. And that's why we can give the free tours. But <laughs> when homes, when this was a residence, and William Workman and family lived here, mm -hmm. as he made money, he did this to his home over the adobe. So the core of structure is, is beneath it. And he wanted a home to look like granite. But um, here's what it actually looks like. Adobe is pretty much mud and straw. Mm-hmm. All different type of compositions. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. All right. Here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Feels good. Wow. Okay, so, it does. Okay, this is William Workman. Oh, yeah. And he married a woman from Taos, New Mexico, named Antonia Margarita. And they had two children. One of them, I'm sorry, she, he married a woman named Nicolasa. They had two children. Antonia Margarita is the daughter. She was about 12 or 13 when she arrived here, maybe 14. Wow. And the, we don't have any photos of the brother. 
but this is uh, the reason this is called the Workman and Temple family homestead is because of their marriage. Mm -hmm. they, this is uh, Francis Pliny Fisk Temple. He came from Boston by ship. Oh, wow. It took six months because you had no Panama Canal or mm -hmm. you had to go under the the Cape of South America. Wow. And he, is, he had an older brother that ran a market in Los Angeles. And he never met his brother. It was from an earlier marriage of his father. Mm -hmm. And he, so he came just to have a visit. Well, he ended up meeting her in the marketplace and they, they married and he never went back to Boston. Wow. However, they sent all their children, they had 11 children. Yeah. Same, same marriage? They sent them all, yeah. They sent them all, yeah, well, only eight survived into adulthood. Oh. So all eight they sent to uh, Massachusetts mm -hmm. to go to college. Oh, wow, or that's school, nice. Private school. Very so, cool. This is Los Angeles. Wow. Uh, if this would be if you're going to Dodger Stadium. This would be Shabazz Ravine up here. Oh, that, huh? Yeah, this area. Then uh, Griffiths. And Chinatown here. But this is the Presidio. This is the the very first settlement of Los Angeles. Jeez. It's still here. You know, they've got Alvera Street. Here's the church. And you can tour that area too. It's all been restored. That's the beginnings of Los Angeles. When he and when for whatever reason, William Workman traveled to Taos, New Mexico, and that uh, I don't we don't know why, but mm -hmm. he wrote this letter to his brother David, who is the one that lived in in uh, actually it's called Franklin, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And he got really, William Workman got so sick and he said it was such a harsh land and he wanted him to send him some, uh, to go to this Abraham barn, send 80 gallon stills and other articles, but be sure never to name it to any person for their contraband articles because you aren't allowed to run a, a distillery or a... a a booze business basically in yeah. New Mexico or Mexico at the time. Yeah. So they were doing it kind of under On low key. Low key. <laughs> <laughs> That's the original letter and it's very lengthy. Oh my goodness. So See, this straight. is the original sign that used to be up at the home. There's one out you'll see on when we exit the house. Um, he arrived on Guy Fawkes Day, which is a special day in England. Nice. And that's a letter to um, FPF Temple. And the reason he was called FPF Temple, his name was Pliny Fisk Temple. Huh. Strange name. But the F comes from Francis. In order to marry Antonia Margarita, he needed to become a Catholic. Oh, wow. And that was his baptismal name. Wow. So, like, William Workman's is... Uh, he was Don Julian. Don that's the name of the street. That's right. nice. <laughs> that was clever of the city. Nice. That was his baptismal name. So they were a fairly religious family, which was probably, I would imagine, William Workman was uh, a convert to Catholicism as well. Mm -hmm. But in order to work and marry in New Mexico, in Mexico, he needed to be Catholic. His homestead in uh, England still exists. They say he was a really fun-loving guy, but you know, portraiture them, he had yeah, to stay so still. still. You could tell he smiled a lot because his cheeks, yeah. especially right here. <laughs> you could tell he had a big old smile. Yeah. But of course, during that time, but he, he knew, uh, I don't know, for some reason that, that stare is like he meant business. Yeah. He liked how it is, straightforward. And I that's, think so. <laughs> you know, but it's such a bold look. <laughs> Very okay. bold. Uh, this is probably what their home looked like. Wow, and is that tough? It wasn't that many years ago that we could see the adobe in this home. The decision was made by the museum that it's never going to look like a three-room adobe again, mm -hmm. so they they finished the walls. Look at the thickness. This the adobe was this thick. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you could used wow. to be able to see the adobe. In the spot. They all have a like this. They were so all formed. Cool. And oh, cool. in, in the 1800s, they had to air dry them. Now, this was the home, William Workman owned this home too, 
uh, with the partner, and they gave it to Antonia Margarita and FPF for their wedding, their mm -hmm. marriage. It's over by Whittier and Arrows. Oh, okay, right over there. That was their land. The Montebello Hills, all that was the, the temple land. No way. Yeah. This is the making of adobe bricks, and this is uh, showing the plastering, because they put a whitewash coat over it. Oh, wow. These are actually bricks for La Casa Nueva, for the, the newer home. The new home, 1924. Yeah. This is 1897 in New Mexico. That's an actual photo from 1897? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Pretty much, it was about cattle. Mm-hmm. So, wow. you, know, you figure there's no daylight savings, there's <laughs> no lights, you know, but by the time it was dark, uh, it was really dark, so... For fun, they would uh, have fiestas, and it was all around the branding of the cap. They had different brands, and they, they had to eventually be patented. Oof. But this is a W. <laughs> and they, so what they, it wasn't for food. Mm -hmm. You know, they, yes, they have some of it for food. Obviously, they're not going to waste the cattle. But there's no refrigeration. Yes. So it was for the hide and the tallow, the fat. Mm -hmm. Fat would be used for soap or candles. This is an old um, candle maker. Mm -hmm. There's not a monetary system here. Mm -hmm. So it was all about bartering yeah. for, for the early years. They take these hides down to the, the harbor at mm -hmm. San Pedro. Oh, wow. And ships would take them and barter for goods. Wow. And they take these uh, hides down to uh, either Mexico or South America or even around back to, to the East Coast. And then we get back, you know, shoes and belts or hats or, you know, in exchange. Let yeah. them for everything. We advance a few years. All right. Now, something happened in the 1800s that totally changed California. Gold. <laughs> yeah, gold and oil. The gold came out. Mm -hmm. uh, 1849, gold was. There's a big, lots of gold. Big, yeah, it's along the Sacramento River that gold was discovered. Wow. And, but remember, the, the, what happened then is the United States, they always had this plan of manifest destiny, mm -hmm. meaning they were going to sweep across the country and take over the whole country. When gold was discovered here, they leaped over the, they skipped this territory that was the center of the country, which was Indian mm -hmm. territory, and they took claim to the United States. So first we were a territory, and then ultimately a state of California. It was a fight, and the battle was between Mexican government and the United States, because they wanted to keep Oh, them. yeah, yeah. Ultimately, the United States they over, yes. and new lines were drawn on what was Mexico, what was mm -hmm. um, the United States. The workmen's, the temples, the Rollins, they took all their cattle up to the gold mines over the grapevine. I mean, wow. just picture like you're going to Bakersfield or Sacramento. Oh, yeah. And cattle there fed, fed all the people that were coming into California to do to try and find their fortune. Wow. And they made money selling dry goods and um, picks and shovels and mm -hmm. they came back with a load of money. So William Workman added a second story. Smart use yeah. yeah. He, uh, he never went up there. He never furnished it in his lifetime. No way. Um, and I, we go up there for the behind the scenes tours. You go up about ten steps and it's like 120 degrees. Oh my goodness. So oh yeah. Later generations, uh, that might have been their bedroom, mm -hmm. but not during William Workman's time. William Workman and John Rowland are getting up in years, and so John Rowland tells, tells William, we need to start dividing our property. There's so many people coming into California. Yeah. Once the train arrived, Oof. Huh. we just... There was a Out of mass control. of people coming in. This is what they originally had about 49,000 acres. Ooh. So to tell you what that means, I don't know if you know San Bernardino Road. Oh, yeah. Medina, which was also a main road. 
road to get to Los Angeles and San wow. Down here is that San Jose Creek, which is a flood control yeah. channel. It's got some by the San Gabriel River. Here's around the 605 <laughs> San Gabriel River. Nice. Here's the, about the 60 freeway right here. So oh you got right here all the way down toward Brea, around Rancho La Brugla and Con de La Brea. So they have all this wow. land. Once they were part of the United States, they had to prove to the government that they were entitled to this land. Absolutely. They had owned many places like um, San Francisco, Alcatraz Island. Whoa. Um, These gentlemen. Clemente Island. Uh, land all the way down to San Juan Capistrano. You know, all over. Workmen in Roland? Yeah. Wow. They did. And the temples. They all had different land holdings. Wow. They, but it was probably a gentleman's handshake. Yes. So, Ultimately, they did prevail, but it took, I think it was 16 years wow. before they got true deed to the property. They were very generous in splitting the land. They spread it very equal, mm -hmm. but thank goodness they separated it because I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Rollins still have land. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll, tell, I'll share in the next room what happened ultimately with the workman land. Wow. But they lost them. They A lot. Land. Oh my goodness. Now, as so many people were coming in, Los Angeles was getting really dangerous. Oh, yes. So, and... The peacemaker? Um, FPF Temple was, became a politician as well. Oh. He, he ran, uh, he was one of the first uh, mayors, Los Angeles, he was a treasurer. He, he was ultimately one of the first members of the LA County Board of Supervisors. But uh, this was his gun. His, one of his descendants is a volunteer duo. Oh, wow. Or volunteers here that are temples. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And he wrote a letter to his brother, Abraham. The war between the two republics, it appears, is at a close. This country remaining in favor of the U.S. I have not as yet seen the treaty. Colonel Stevenson's regiment of New York volunteers are now, now disbanded and are making their way towards the gold mines which have been lately discovered on the rivers Sacramento and San Joaquin. They are immensely rich. Captain Phelps has been there the last three or four months and he will be able to give you correct information relating to it. And then there, there's more information in here that's you know worrisome that connects the, yeah, times are changing, the safety was, of our land. Yeah, they needed the protection, he felt. And here so, it is. Now, this is what the home uh, looked like at oh, the wow. different periods of time. Went up the Grape Arbor. Mm -hmm. There used to be all these trees. These rooms are all gone. There was a schoolroom, possibly, saddlery, butcher shop. Oh, they took it, those this out? This was a working place. They employed a lot of people. And there's a well in the floor. Oh, nice. That well was traced all the way to the creek. Whoa. The water sources. Smart. Because water was so Key. precious here. You would just... Absolutely. Because this land, that's why we have the flood control channels. Mm. And they lived through some massive floods. And here's probably at some point in the 1870s. So you can see this is, this the front and the back look the same. Mm -hmm. And there was a number of years that nobody took care of it. Oh, they just left it alone? It was left alone. What you're looking at outside mm -hmm. is uh, El Encanto. Uh, it's, a, it's a skilled nursing facility. Oh, whoa. That was... Can I open the was, blinds? They own this home. Oh, they do. This was a hospital. What? Yeah, it was It was used by uh, as a hospital until the city of industry. Oh, my God. Purchased it. I feel a lot of energy from that couch. Ooh, and that top hat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we've left that set from that time period. Going to workmen and uh, his son in law, which was FPF Temple. FPF Temple decided he, he approached William Workman and said, Let's open a bank. It was called the Temple Block. If you know Los Angeles, Temple Street. It, it wasn't named after SPF Temple, but his older brother that he had come to visit many years when he was a young man. And he had a, 
he owned the whole block, you know, the business and stores and whatnot. Wow. So they opened a bank, and that's right where City Hall is today. Oh, if wow. you've ever seen Los Angeles City Hall, Big. yeah, this is this was there. Wow. And so they opened this bank, but they're not keeping an eye on the bank. William Workman's getting up in years. Mm -hmm. You know, he's in his seventies, and which is old for that time period. For that period. time period, absolutely. And um, but. F.F. Temple, his son-in-law, is really into politics, so mm -hmm. he leaves the bank in the hands of a teller, uh -oh. and so they are lending money to the right and left to people. The big bank in uh, San Francisco uh, crashed mm -hmm. and is starting to fail, and then the country is going into a depression. And so all the people that put their money in the bank, they come to Collect. get it out. Mm -hmm. And they run out of money mm -hmm. before everybody could get paid. They shut the bank, and they went to a gentleman named Elias Lucky Baldwin. Oh. Uh, Lucky's a hot uh, The nickname. If you've heard of Baldwin Park, mm -hmm. or the Santa Anita Racetrack, or the oh. Arboretum. Well, uh, Elias Baldwin was quite an uh, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. He was in uh, wharfs and he was into the railroad and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. He loaned the money, but they put up this property for collateral. Oh well, yeah, of course, in exchange for yeah. something. So they reopened the bay and they ran out of money again within three days. They closed it. Oh. Now William Workman, he chose to take his own life. Oh no. In the front room. Thought that, yeah, he he was humiliated. He was broke, oh, you because know, he all his land was now oh. going to be owned by Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah. So these are articles from different papers at the time. First off, we he now William Workman. He left. Uh, he had his uh, grandson, one of F. P. F. Temple and his daughter Antonia Margarita's children mm -hmm. running his winery business. So he was on the land, so then he writes his mother, which was William Workman's daughter, Dear Mother, Grandfather has shot himself this afternoon. Come at once. And it's signed F.W. Temple. Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, her son, Francis Temple. These articles here, like this, Suicide of William Workman. It is seldom we are called upon to chronicle the suicide of a person who has reached the advanced age of 76 years old. Mm -hmm. Old people are more tenacious of life than those of middle age, and the annals of self-destruction contain but few instances where men who have reached the age of William Workman have deliberately committed self-murder. The manner of his death has shocked the whole community. That was in the, the Los Angeles Herald on May 19, 1876. The inventory, mismanagement, wild speculations, and a betrayal of trust. Mm -hmm. An unparalleled array of deadbeats. How they figure in the overdrafts and bills receivable. An interesting ethnological study, total assets and liabilities. Those are headlines from an article on the release of inventory of the Temple and Workman Bank as its owners uh, and its owners from the LA Star, February 4th, 1876. Jeez. And these were, I guess it was just beyond what William Workman could handle. It's really sad that he chose that because he left his widow here. Yeah. She never worked a day in her life. And yeah, but Francis, he figured out what to do. He was the second child of Antonia Margarita. He attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He was a winemaker, and unfortunately, he died three days before he turned 40. He died of tuberculosis, so he was away quite a bit going to um, the mountains of Arizona. This is the fifth child. He owned a 130-acre walnut ranch where today's Whittier Narrows Nature Center is. Whose top hat did that belong to? Who? The top hat. Yeah, I don't know who they belong to. It could have been from the family. There's oh. different things that we've received from family. Beautiful. This is one of the more recent rooms um, renovated. Whoa. And so as it was uh, 
being cleaned up. Wow. This was underneath. So they chose to, the, the artisans that worked on this room, um, they chose to do this pattern to kind of match that. Oh my um, goodness. There is a, a descendant that's a volunteer here. He's a retired uh, Orange County Sheriff. He, these are things that he has donated or, or loaned wow. to the museum. Oh, as wow. well as the bed thought to be for, for um, the uh, son that ran the homestead. A, a fit like a Bible and yeah. a very tall it, ceilings. And, oh, yes. I mean, it's like modern construction. And See, even that was preserved. Uh, that was cleaned up. That medallion up above the, the lamps. I have never seen anything like yeah. that. Yeah. That was, an, I, we have a picture of it. It was a mess. Oh, my goodness. We've even displayed, like, their wedding, her wedding gown. Oh, they have the wedding gown too. So this was his room. Wow, look at that suit. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, let's see the medallion if it's on here. Oh wow, the construction. Oops, sorry, man. Yeah. I guess maybe the photo's in the other room, but you can see the. This is a picture of the. Of the home. Family here. Oh, cool. <laughs> this flat plant right here, we're going to see it when we exit. Okay. Thought to have been planted in 1860. It's still there. Wow. And it actually was blooming. It's called a Lady Banks Rose. A couple months or two ago, it was in bloom. It was, I've never seen it in the 10 years I've been here. So much natural lighting. Right. That's why they have to have these heavy drapes to make sure that everything is... Shut? Is, uh, you know, it won't damage the furniture or anything. No way! Is that still the original ashes? Mm -hmm. That's all original, all the ashes? Yes. Wow! That's so neat, it's like a doorway. Uh-huh. <laughs> These are showing some of the older buildings in Los Angeles. Whoa. Uh, Pico House, that's still there. Yeah. Yeah. This was the Temple Block. This would be where City Hall is today. Whoa. But look at all the horse carts and the kind of buildings. Oh, it's yeah. kind of like what you see in the old days at Disneyland and not very far. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's so nice. We wanted to go to Calico, actual. Um, oh, yeah, Calico Ghost. Yeah, I've never been there. Oh. All the trips to Las Vegas and never stopped there. Check it out. They have the mines in there. I think you pay $3 and they'll take you in there. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, but let's see that. But yeah. not summer. No, especially with the earthquakes. <laughs> Man, I don't want to be in the mine with the earthquakes. <laughs> okay, this is showing underneath this, they found this. Whoa. And then here's the, the medallion. The, we, the medallion? That was about 1890. It lost its color? Yes, that's what they believe from knowing from stories and different photos. All the dust? That, that, that uh, they're pretty sure it was like that. Wow. And that's this room. This oh my goodness. Here. So this fireplace, they found the wallpaper there. Down there. Check it out. Do you see the wallpaper? Oh yeah, look at it right there. You see the green, the leaf? Pretty cool. This uses as their fireplace. And it is this the made out of iron? It's possible because iron was a quite used quite a bit then. It's a little bit of rust. Yeah. Huh? And you can see good. this wall was it had some brick as well as the adobe. So they, they kinda just patched it up yeah, wherever like they it could. Was patched. And some wood. I see the wood up there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, for the framing. And even right above the bullet brick there. Oh yeah, right That's there. That's wood. If it holds, we're good. Oh, these are just photos showing uh, one of the Zillow capital, uh, the sanitarium. It's a sanitarium, and uh, but a lot of the people still come here to visit. Mm-hmm. And they, it was the Brown family, and they they owned 
all this property. So the city of industry bought this home first and then eventually purchased La Casa Nueva. Wow. So oh, this is hospital. a photo inside La Casa Nueva. Mm -hmm. They actually built on an addition to La Casa Nueva these two upstairs wings for hospital beds. There's no elevator and wow. only stairs. Oh my goodness. So all those people, I guess, have to be carried up or yep. something? Carried or probably hoisted, yeah. hoisted up. Military? Uh, they, when they were losing money, um, they tried to run the home as a military boys school. But then it's the Great Depression, the 1930s, 1929 stock market crash. Yes. That's right when they lost this whole property. Jeez. So then after this story, uh, after the next son in line, Walter Temple, came mm -hmm. along. And that's the story of the next house. Very cool. And so that's why it, they had the property for quite a while. It was lost after Francis. Mm -hmm. They lost it. But then Walter Temple I mean, was able to, he was one of the youngest of the sons, I think six and one. He was able to buy back the workman home and he put in indoor plumbing and electricity and it became, this home became their vacation home, their summer home. They lived in Alhambra, but this was their vacation home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what, it, when it takes cars and there's no freeway, it was well. enough drive for them yeah. to have fun. <laughs> and there used to be a reservoir on the property, so... It was like, well, better. Yeah, yeah so they had reality. a pool. They had a pool here. <laughs> That's so neat. <laughs> and these are different materials they found. Whoa. Oh, that's not the only old shoe. There's been other shoes found. No way. And in the attic games. It's oh. like, it means something. His office, he had a, like a little reception area here, and then that was his office. Because when he did, he had, you know, multiple businesses on the land. He ran a wine, the winery. Mm -hmm. um, wine making business. And here's some more pictures that are a little bit, or framed areas of what it looked like at the time. Oh, it looked like a vase, huh, with fruit? Yes, the city helped them build that. And That's they moved there, and once they moved out, then the city began its renovation. This is the rose, thought to be 1860s. Oh, and it bloomed? What were the colors of the flowers? They were actually mostly white that oh, I saw. nice. It had a little hint of pink. Wow. But there's a group working now with these new plants. Look at that. This is the, the room, huh? Wow. Ooh. So these are different wine grapes. So you've got Chardonnay and uh, they're, each one's different. We have a uh, resident, the, the, oh, yeah. the, the keeper of the land here, mm -hmm. the, the groundskeeper. He's also a sommelier and he's into the wine. Oh, nice. So hopefully they can make some wine. Ooh. This house is surrounded with pomegranates. What? It's beautiful. There's a lot of grapes. Yeah, this year, and then yeah, pomegranates. Last time I was here, uh, looked at, less than a month ago, I didn't see any of the grapes. Oh, wow. Okay, so we better go and then we're getting the rest of the family. Yeah, that's your family. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it gives me goosebumps. Yeah, it's pretty cool to so know it's... It's history and yeah. everything. Look at that. Oh, I the chimney. I like appreciate that it's still around. Oh, so definitely. what we do gets torn down. Mm-hmm. What about the towers? Was that a standing post tower? Uh, this was a water tower. Oh, it's a water tower. And actually, it's now the office of the groundskeeper. Oh, wow. Hi. 